Now there's another reason there's another reason why my mind was insisting on frustration. And this one's a little bit more uh, it has to do more with the, of the primary project, which is the meaning of life project. So primary project. Uh, some premises with the primary project. And the reason I find that my mind was insisting on frustration is, is because of a premise in the primary project. And uh, this is something, because it's primary project, I, I won't go over it much, but I'll just state the premise. And my premise in the primary project is this. I sincerely believe that everything that exists has a right to exist. Why else would it exist? I mean, and d d d again, this is more an argument from the primary project. If God is allowing it to exist, or if existence, if you don't believe in God, if existence is allowing it to exist, who are you to say that it shouldn't exist? If you, it, if, if you try to keep something that exists, if you try to keep it from existing, then you're working against existence. You're working against whatever is it's allowing it to exist. And that's a that's a pretty big power. And that's a, you know, for a human to go against the universe, that's that's a, it's kind of a bad idea. So, I sincerely believe that everything that exists has a right to exist. And I will not be at peace until I understand that. Right. So this is the reason why I kept tormenting myself, why I kept myself in a state of frustration. And this is uh, what, I'm about, what I'm about to tell you, what I'm about to say, is kind of the, the thing that opened things up for me, right, because of this analysis. Um, so pain, pain exists, and pain, so that means, if pain exists, that means that it is allowed to exist, it has a right to exist. So you should, you should not keep pain from existing. Right, so that was the first premise, and, 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 and that's, that's kind of like the first layer of the premise that, that my mind keeps insisting. Um, that's the first layer, that's the first layer of, uh, of uh, the premise that my mind holds. And that's one of the reasons why my mind keeps insisting on being in pain, on being frustrated, on tormenting myself, basically. Because it exists, and I'm trying to get myself to accept that it exists, and that it has a right to exist. Now, you can, you can kind of like come up with an argument against it and say, okay, well, yes, maybe pain has a right to exist, but also, I have a right or ignorance, there's ignorance in the world, ignorance has a right to exist, and I have a right to ignore the pain. I have a right to delude myself of all the pain in the world and pretend that it doesn't exist so, the, so that it doesn't affect me. So ignorance also has a right to exist. So there's pain and there's also ignorance. Now, uh, this is something that, that I will refute right now. So. Sure, I can let my I can let my ignorance of this value exist. So so um I could I could be so my primary project has this has this uh, premise that everything has a right to exist. If I ignore that premise, apparently you know to some it'll, it it might be easier. It might be easier to uh, to live life because now you're th not, now you're thinking that some things are not allowed to exist. Pain is not allowed to exist. Torment is not allowed to exist, and frustration is not allowed to exist. Anything that causes you pain should not be allowed to exist. And you just block those from your mind, and now you're a happier person. If you just don't have the premise, like, what is the advantage of having a premise that, gi that gives everything the right to exist? And so you just, you just ignore the premise. Why? Because your ignorance has, has the right to exist. But at this point, you're going against yourself. Or at this point, me, at least me, I'm going against myself because I'm contradicting the premise more directly by ignoring it. Sure, my ignorance of the premise has a right to exist, yes. 
but now it's a now it's a decision now I'm deciding to go against that premise when I first when I'm in pain um, you know like there may be things that there may be things that that I'm ignoring there may be things that I'm not allowing to exist but when I decide to ignore the premise that's something that I'm consciously doing that's something that I'm deciding to do and that's that's contradicting my premise even more directly my my ignorance will only contradict my foundational premise even more directly so yes I believe that the uh, primary, the premise in the primary project has a premise. So let's write this down. Everything has a right to exist. Whoa. So yes, I believe that everything should be accepted. So, the first thing is that the first value, or following the premise, caused the first action, which is self-torment and pain. And the reason why I keep insisting on myself to experience torment is because that torment is something that I'm not accepting. Because pain is naturally something that you that you push away. Pain is, I mean, it's, it's a rigid, pain is a rejection, right? So, the reason why I keep tormenting myself is because I know that I naturally push pain away, that I naturally push torment away. And that's kind of my mind's way of saying, no, you're going to experience this until you accept it because you believe that everything has a right to exist. And because you believe that everything has a right to exist, you have to give this a right to exist. You have to give pain a right to exist. You have to accept it. And I, I won't leave you alone. I will keep tormenting you until you accept the torment. But that becomes a problem because torment itself is a rejection. It's, uh, it's, it's, you, it's you pushing it away. And so it, it, it kind of, you, do you see the paradox there where, you know, like you have to accept rejection but in your trying to accept it, when your mind tries to force you to accept it, you keep rejecting it because that's what it is. It's, it's, it's rejection. And when you're rejecting something, you have to accept that you're rejecting it. So there's a problem with accepting pain. There's a problem with accepting torment. I'm not sure how it can be done. Uh, you, you know, like with paradoxes, there's, there, there's always a, a way around paradoxes. I don't think there's, there's ever a full contradiction. Uh, I think that every, every paradox has a solution. You just have to use your imagination in order to find that solution. But this was, this was something, you know, like, this was something that my mind, you know, and, and, and that's, why, that's why when I was trying to reach the goal in, in that other diagram that I had before, it was my primary goal. The goal that I was trying to reach, which is what, which was the decoy goal for me to analyze this whole process, right? And my mind keeps tormenting me. My mind keeps frustrating me. My mind keeps keep my mind keeps trying to keep me away from the goal, so that I could experience this, so that I could accept this, and I w it will not let me reach the goal until I reach the goal, reach this goal first until I am consistent with my own beliefs of allowing the right, to, allowing everything the right to exist. Allowing the not me being a failure, allowing it to exist, I need to accept that first. I need to be in line with that first before I can reach the goal. If I don't accept this first, I will not allow myself to have that because I need to be consistent with myself in that belief and that premise. That's the first thing that I need to understand. Anyways, so you get the you get the sense of the paradox there. You get the sense of the contradiction that I'm trying to accept 
my rejecting because I feel that I should accept everything but in my rejecting it I'm rejecting it so that's not accepting so in my rejecting in my rejecting I'm not accepting something but again that's something that we're trying to accept so kind of a lot of that and that's why my mind kept, keeps insisting on me having pain until I you know because that's something it, it, my mind keeps insisting on me having pain on me tormenting myself because that is something that uh, does not fit in with this I guess you could put it that way it doesn't it doesn't fit in with this premise it sees a problem with that and it's insisting um, I guess I guess one way that you could put it is that my mind is trying to tell me you either change this you either accept the pain or you have to change this in your in your philosophy you have to change this in your in your in your existential philosophy in, in your universal philosophy you have to change this universal law either not everything has a right to exist or you have to accept non-acceptance so there's that the reason why I have this in my primary project the reason why I have this premise is because the other one makes less I, I won't talk about this too much but the the alternative doesn't make any more sense the alternative of that uh, some things do not have a right to exist um, it, it will cause even more problems than this than this first premise than the premise that I adopted and the reason why that is is because when some things do not have a right to exist, then you have to decide which things have a right to exist and which don't. And then it turns out that you have some aspects of those things that do not have a right to exist because there's existence and, you know, like, different, there's different elements to everything. And also, that your perspective on what things have a right to exist and what do not, you know, that changes, you know, like, the things that don't have a right to exist, they have their own perspective on what have a right to exist, and they may decide to, that, that you don't have a right to exist, and if you don't have a right to exist, you know, so, so it becomes this battle, right? And, and it creates kind of like a chaotic arena, doggy dog world of the universe, right? So this makes even less sense than this one, right? But this one brings the problem that if everything has the right to exist, then you have to accept rejection. Then you have to accept rejecting. Um, and so it forces that upon you. So, this is part of the primary project. This is a premise in the primary project. I'm not going to change that because I already went through uh, an existential crisis trying to figure this out. That's, that's what I decided to adopt and that's what I will decide to adopt. And I also decided that if I have to spend the rest of my life tormenting myself, that's just... A fact of human nature. I'm still going to hold on to this premise. The fact of uh, if, if the fact that uh, I keep tormenting myself is will just be a fact of my humanity. It's not something that I'm going to change. It's not, it's, I'm, I'm not going to change a belief. I'd rather hold on to this value and go on living the rest of my life with pain than otherwise. But you know. Uh, I already pointed out that having this other premise, having the alternative premise, will not be any better. So, torment. I also figured out that... So the reason why I keep insisting on tormenting myself is because I believe that everything has a right to exist. Torment has a right to exist. So that's... As I said, that's the first level, that's the first level of conundrum there. That's the first layer that you have to work to. The first step is to accept the torment. The first step is to accept the pain. Here's how you solve it. The first step is to accept the pain. Once you accept the pain, once you accept the pain, then you're able to embody it. And once you embody the pain, only then you will realize that pain is a symptom of rejection. And once you embody the pain, only then you will realize what 
you are rejecting. So it's a symptom of rejection. That means that you're not following the premise. You're going against the premise. So the reason why you have the pain is because you are rejecting something. You are not allowing something its right to exist. Yes, first you allow the pain to exist, yes, but then you have to realize that the reason why you have the pain is because you're not allowing something to exist. And once you have that, so, so pain is not allowance. Pain is a rejection. Once you embody it, then you, you will realize what you are rejecting. What specific item you're rejecting. And once you notice that, um, then you can work toward accepting it. Uh, a note that I missed, embodying pain is actually volition. When you embody pain, that means you're putting your own intention into that sensation. That's how you embody it, because now the pain that you're causing, now that's you. Now you have an intention into it. And that's effectively the definition of volition. So once you notice what you were rejecting, then you can work, then you could still apply this premise even deeper and then accept it. So just kind of draw a picture of this. Here's the pain, right? Here's the pain. Um, pain is rejection and you're rejecting the pain. So the premise is this. The premise is that everything has a right to exist. So the first layer is that you have to accept the pain. So if everything has the right to exist, you accept the pain. Then after you've accepted the pain, you were able to embody it. So you remove that first layer. Now you're able to embody it and realize there is another rejection going on right here, a rejection of elements or a contradiction of elements. And then you follow this premise even deeper and then you accept whatever elements it is, you accept whatever elements it is that's causing you the pain. You solve out, you untie the knot in the contradiction that's causing the pain. you untie the knot and that's how you get rid of the pain so again you're not getting rid of the pain because it feels bad because then you'll be going against it you'll be going against the premise a rejection of pain and when you reject pain that just makes it even worse instead you're accepting the pain but then you accept whatever whatever you are objecting that's causing the pain. And that's the ultimate goal of it all. And there's another note here that I want to point out. So, and this is, um, you know, because I spent a lot of time here. I spent a lot of time uh, insisting on torment. Be why? Because I thought I was following this, that everything has a right to exist. And so I had to come up with a case against appreciating pain by producing it because in my, in my, in my thing it was that I produce pain in order to appreciate it in order to, because I accept it, right? But because I accept it, you know, the, uh, I produce it so I give myself more pain so that I could accept it. Um, but it, then it turns out, then, then you finally realize that it turns out that the pain is actually a rejection of something. And uh, that is the case against appreciating pain by producing it. Uh, the more you produce pain, it's not that you're accepting pain, it's more like you're rejecting something and that's how you produce more pain. And that's going against the initial premise there. You cannot appreciate pain because pain is non-appreciation. Your goal is, not, is to not resist and the best way to not resist is to let all flow through. 
allow all enjoy enjoyment enjoyment volition and then you will f still feel like something is missing that one okay so there's something else Yeah, so I think it, it was this, you know, I think it's figuring this out that allows me now to, um, to, not, to not have it be necessary to produce pain, because I understand this now. And with this understanding, now I can sleep, and because my mind already understands this, it won't try to keep trying, it won't try to keep... Uh, making me accept pain anymore because now I understand that pain goes against my initial premise. So, of course, I just barely discovered this. It hasn't really made an impact. I haven't I haven't really been practicing it. So, it comes and goes away. I forget I forget about this. If I forget about this, then my habit of building pain will come back. But as long as I keep this in mind, as long as I keep understanding this, then uh and then uh, you know my mind, you know, seeks uh, will seek to understand, will seek acceptance instead of uh, instead of just giving me pain, in order in order to try and make me accept it. So, yeah, I think I think that's what led up to the whole uh, this whole uh, checkpoint. If you find yourself intentionally immersing yourself in pain. It is because you see value or you see a goal embedded in it, in the experience of pain. Arriving at the target is only the first checkpoint. Arriving at the environment of pain. This must be done with intention for best efficiency. In other words, volition. To complete the objective, once you have arrived in the painful environment, you must dissect the target and extract the goal from it uh, through archetype analysis and comparison awareness and the weighing out of values when you achieve this when you manage to extract the goal from the pain from the target you will finally grant yourself permission to leave the pain